Okay, in this short lesson, I'm going to show you some of the points to be aware of if you're going to try and use the mathematics like I do when changing your dimensions. And um, it, this kind of works with, you know, having a knowledge of Blender and having knowledge of mathematics at the same time. So one without the other is just not going to work. So I have this 45 degree triangle, and this worked okay because when I initially drew this object as a triangle it was a it was a cute it was a square or a plane and I just erased one of the vertices and then I remapped the face on here so it's positioned okay but watch if I actually try and change it to a 60 degree triangle or a triangle that would be you know well 60 would be one-third of the way to 180 degrees but that also be one-third of the way to the pi and one-third of the way to the pi is the same thing as saying pi divided by three all right, so my angle, and since I'm working in radians here, I'm going to enter in that as pi over 3. But you're going to see the problem first, and then I'm going to fix it and then show you how to work with it. So if I type in for the x component cosine of pi divided by 3, and I type in for the y component sine of pi divided by 3, like this, well, it, the angle looks correct to me. I'll move this angle out of the way. That's not actually valid now. The angle looks correct, but you'll notice its orientation is that it's now not centered here at the center of the circle where I want it to be. I was going to control Z that back to there first. All right, so I'm back to this where my point is here. So what you have to do is you need to go into edit mode with your object, and I'll s select this vertex down here where you want, we're going to work around. And I'm going to shift S and put my cursor to the selected. I'm going to enter, leave edit mode. And then normally I'm transforming origins to the geometry, but I want to transform the origin to the cursor in this case. All right, so now with the position down here, then if I want to change this to a, an angle of pi over 3, I'll type in cosine of pi divided by 3. And I'll type in the sine of pi divided by 3, pi over 3. And there it is properly positioned and then this becomes you know 60 degree angle I'll just call it pi over 3 for my angle like that all right so there's my angle it goes all the way up to that point like that so the little things like that and then the one other thing that you have to be always wary of of this as long as you know what tools you have available when I look at the triangle if I go into um, edit mode and I want to look at the dimensions of the triangle. I pick the edge length in here. Now notice there's no edge length. Well, that's because I only have one vertex selected. So if I pick this, this should be a length of one, right? Well, I look at it, and it says it's 2.828 meters. Well, that's not right, is it? No, it's not, of course, because when you're changing these rotations and scalings in here, remember, you have to control A and apply the, these scales. I, you know, I'll typically just apply the rotation, the scale, or the location. Now I want to go back into edit mode. Now it has the accurate dimension indicated of 1. Well, let's see what it is down here instead for this length. Make sure it's here. And there it is, 50 centimeters. Normally on your calculator, you're just going to see that as 0.5 because I'm in meter mode, so it'd be the same as 0.5 meters. And we'll try it for this one here just clicking and that says 86.602 centimeters on your calculator is going to show is like 0.866 because that would be the same as 0.866 meters okay so these little details are just really important to remember and as long as you're aware of them then it works great okay so all right well that's it for this lesson well yeah practice all that stuff for a while just get really comfortable with using radians and angles and things like that and Part of the reason we're doing it is because we can calculate, you know, this area. Areas of triangles are just one half the base of the, times the height. Well, if this was a rectangle and you calculated the area of a rectangle, which is just the width times the length, then you take half of that. So it's really saying one half, you know, x times y, essentially in this case. But when you have the area, then you can extrude that into z and get a volume, and then that works for this in other cases we're going to do odd shaped rectangle I mean triangles and we can calculate areas based on those as well and then calculate volumes and then we can make all kinds of cool volumes for maybe use in your fluid simulations or whatever okay well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next lesson